Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam and I'm back in July. I'm doing once a month, I'm gonna keep at it. I made no promises of making more frequent videos, but I'm back with the Trader Joe's haul and you guys all love Trader Joe's hauls, right? Trader Joe's is awesome. It's gotten so many cool new products and you know, throughout these months that I'm not filming as much because of Bebe, who's sleeping right now. Um, I've still been going and trying out all their new products. So I've got a ton of new products that I haven't really tried. And I really want to try and film a taste test with my sister, actually. So we'll see if that goes up or not. But that is the hope. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. If you guys love Trader Joe's, if you love hauls, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, I've got three very big bags, so let's go ahead and get started. I did grab some of these stuff out of the fridge. So right here at the top, I've just got a box of strawberries. Just, you know, love strawberries. And actually, my son is almost six months now and he's very interested in food. So I got some organic strawberries because it is part of the Dirty Dozen and I wanna just, you know, be mindful of that when I give him food. I'm going to wash these up and serve it to him. Okay, some other fridge items. I've got this chive onion cream cheese. Love this flavor, love their consistency. It's, it's delicious. I got some bagels from Costco the other day, so figured why not. I got this container of Belila. I have a recipe that I'll link below in the description box for making Belila at home or Belila. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but you know, it's convenient to just grab this. All right, I've got this container of tzatziki sauce because it's delicious and I wanted to make some homemade gyro. So I got two boxes of gyro slices. If you've never had this, it's delicious. I just take it and I put it in the air fryer and let it get nice and crispy and mm, it's delicious. Not too crispy, you don't want it burnt, but just perfectly warm and has a very, very nice bite to it. So I love this. I like to get, get it from time to time and makes my own homemade gyros, which, you know, I can show a recipe if you are interested. Mid-East style feast. I got this before. It's been a while, but I, I, I do get this from time to time. You can kind of see the different, there's four compartments in it. Um, one, let's see, the four compartments is stuffed grape leaves. I love those. Hummus, lentil salad, and tomato cracked bulgur wheat salad. So anyways, I love it. It's really, really good. And I think it's like a very quick, quick um, lunch idea. So it's gonna be perfect for lunch today. Got some organic roasted radishes. Again, I think I want to give this to my son. Just roast it in the oven with butter and really that's it because I wanna keep the sodium in his food low. So, and then for us, I'll add a little seasoning at the end. This is nice. All the work is done. I just need to cook it up. Okay, for those euros, I've got some pita bread. These are awesome. I just go ahead and cook up that euro slices, add some veggies, add the sauce, and it's a really easy, easy and delicious lunch. This kind of is in the bags, but I'll just talk about it. It's not from Trader Joe's, but I have a PCC market, which might be you know, local to the Pacific Northwest. These are the Tulsi Sweet Rose Tea, and it's stress leaving and magical apparently. But anyways, it's really delicious. I think it's got organic stevia leaf in it, which makes it a little bit sweet. So I like it a lot and my family really likes it. I ran out and PCC, which is right by the Trader Joe's I go to, has it. I think Whole Foods also has it, but really good if you guys love that rose flavor. Okay. This is a new item, I'm intrigued. It is the crispy Thai chili and sesame seeds. I don't know, no idea how this is gonna taste, whether it's spicy or not, but I'm going to do a live demo. I think if I do end up doing that with my sister, I wanna try this out with her and see what it tastes like. I got this chili and garlic cashew. I love this. I 
love to just snack on nuts in general. And so usually I'll have cashews, almonds, something in our pantry right in the front so that we grab it instead of other things. But yeah, this is a really good flavor. I think I've had it once before um, and it's delicious. Got some fruits. These are some donut nectarines. I've had donut peaches before, but not donut nectarines. So I'm sure they're delicious. On that same note, I got some sunrise kiwi fruit. These are yellow inside instead of the traditional um, green that you usually see, but they're really good. I like this. These, these are pretty sweet. It actually says it's sweeter golden kiwi, so maybe they're meant to be a little bit sweeter than your traditional green kiwis. This is something I get all the time. It is shrimp gyozas. I don't know what, but the shrimp flavor is really good and I really enjoy it. So I like to keep that just stocked up in the fridge. And usually I don't see shrimp being one of the popular flavors, so that's why. This cold brew coffee and boba, this is delicious. I don't know how long we have it. I'm actually surprised that we still have it at our Trader Joe's because I've thought it was gone. It's like a seasonal product, right? But this is so good. It's coconut non-dairy frozen dessert with tapioca pearls. So if you love bubble tea, this is very reminiscent of that. So I love it. It's got a stronger coffee flavor to it because of the cold brew and it's really good. It lives up to the hype for sure. Okay, got some vegetable fried rice. I know that it's easy to make, but it's just these days with having a baby and everything, if you need to make dinner on the fly, these types of things are amazing to have on hand. Okay, on that same note, I, when I work really early, just need something quick to grab. And so I got this almond butter puff cereal. It's not too bad. It doesn't have that much added sugar, which is surprising because, you know, sugary cereal and all that. So I wanted to give it a try in case, you know, I can find some quick, quick, easy, just, you know, grab and go upstairs to my office and start work type of breakfast. Got some organic bananas because baby boy is gonna be having bananas soon and you know, bananas are easy. <laughs> some more cashews. This is the Thai lime and chili cashew. I've actually gotten this a bunch of times because this is delicious and I love it. And what I'm thinking of doing is actually just combining these two bags of cashews, putting it in my big container, and then that would be, you know, a great snack. I haven't tried this dark chocolate coffee buzz bars, but I've heard that it's good and it's very, very coffee. So coffee-y, <laughs> um, but yeah, I like it. If I opened it up and I saw that there was four bars in it, ah, two of which just fell out, but I'm excited. I wanna give this a try and see how it is. I got a ton of new products, so I hope, hope that you are enjoying this because I know I am. <laughs> Next up, I've got this a dozen cousins Mexican cowboy pinto beans. I'm guessing that it's just flavored pinto beans. If I look at the ingredients, it's got water, pinto beans, crushed tomatoes, onions, garlic, avocado oil, dried ch green chili peppers, sea salt, dried cilantro, and jalapeno powder. It's really clean ingredients, like very, very clean. So I was very excited to try this out and I'm sure it's delicious. You already know I love these barbell protein bars because they do not taste like protein bars. They taste like candy cake, candy bars. Uh, I love the cookies and cream. That's the one I usually get and I've been getting it, but I saw a new flavor and I don't know, maybe it's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, white chocolate almond flavor. I'm so excited to try this out. I'm sure it's delicious and yeah. I got three of each flavors because my husband and I both really like it. At the top, I love arugula. And my thought is I would take that lentil salad, mix it up with this bag of arugula and easy peasy salad idea. Okay, this is a new product. I was very excited that I found it, but it's peanuts for chocolate ice cream. And oh my gosh, this is absolutely delicious if you like chocolate and you like peanuts. It's got chunks of chocolate peanut butter Jojo cookies and peanut butter swirl. And when you bite down on those frozen peanut butter swirls that are mixed in this, oh, it's delicious. I seriously, I'm so, such a big fan. This is dangerous, it's almost gone and we only had it one time. So that tells you <laughs> that it's delicious. Got some sugar snap peas. We love, love having this, just kind of steamed up with a little sauce on it. And yeah, very delicious. And I love my greens. Okay, I haven't gotten these in so long. The Bomba Peanut Puffs. 
so good. It's just been a while and so I saw it and I think I mentioned it last time. This bag is not as full as it once used to be, so that's too bad. I actually really like this instant coffee. It's the Colombian instant coffee. Uh, we just ran out of our old one of this and it's really good for being instant coffee. I really like it. Okay, I'm not sure why I got this. Organic shells and white cheddar macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I just heard this was a better macaroni and cheese and sometimes my sister likes to come over and we don't really have anything in the pantry for her to readily grab and make. I like to just have things like this that she could just make on her own and just have. So I got this. I've got this new popcorn. You know that I'm a fan of popcorn. This is a key lime flavored popcorn. It says that it's sweet, salty, tart, tangy. That's all of the different flavors that I am loving. So anyways, I thought this would be good to try on our taste test. Got these mini peanut butter filled pretzels. They have the big version of this, but I thought why not try this out? And I actually opened it up on the drive home and forgot that I had it in the bag, but these are good. I like the big ones, but these little ones, if you just need a nice little salty snack, they're pretty good. Okay, another new product that I can cannot wait to try is this sweet and spicy pickle chips and onion. Oh, you know I'm a sucker for anything that's a little spicy, pickly. The pickle jalapenos that I get all the time from Trader Joe's are delicious. So I'm excited to give this one a try. Okay, I love my coconut milk and especially the reduced fat one because I can't find it at this price at many other places. So I got three cans of the reduce fat coconut milk. And then I like to have this coconut cream on hand. This is just a plain, the full coconut cream. And this just adds a nice creaminess to your curries. I add it to desi curries, to Asian curries, anything. It's really, really good. But I got, oh, actually I got two of the reduced fat, one coconut cream, and then one is the, just the regular coconut milk. So got a nice little variety. <laughs> okay, not a food product, but something that I saw and I wanted to try out. It's a this shower and bath cleansing oil. And honestly, this is so incredibly inexpensive. It's $2.99 for this big thing. So I don't know, maybe it's going out or something and that's why, but I wanted to try it out. You basically lather, massage onto skin during bath or shower and then you rinse it. So I'm excited. Maybe it'll make my very dry summer skin nice and smooth. All right, couple of drink items. I've got the spicy mango lemonade that everyone's talking about. And I will say, I took a little sip <laughs> and it's, it's pretty good. It's got a kick to it. So I was very pleasantly surprised. Okay, and the last two items are sparkling beverages. I'm still very much into sparkling beverages. So these are the watermelon flavored. Watermelon flavored is probably my favorite of all of them. It's the one that's the green can and it's just, it's really good. And I know that my family really enjoys it too. So I always have some, I like my sparkling waters, like the Spindrift and the LaCroix and all that kind of stuff, but they like the sweeter stuff. So I like to have this in my pantry. All right, there you guys go. That is my Trader Joe's haul for the month of July. I hope that I can edit this and put this up before the end of the month. You'll know if I met that goal by when you see this video. So hopefully I am able to do that. If you still are following me, thank you, thank you so much. I know I've been incredibly inconsistent with posting and I just blame that on being a new mom and just trying to figure out my priorities and just figuring all my scheduling out. I'm also back at work now. So it's another time commitment. So anyways, I'm trying to figure it out. I really do hope that I get back into the swing of things and I can start posting more and posting more recipes too because I just love doing that. So thank you if you're still here and you're still watching me and supporting me. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.